This is completely unrelated to the topic of the video, but god damn, like this is a this is a nice nice treasure Tuesday which just came out. We have an executioner sword, a new one. We have a gigantic axe that looks really cool with this hilt. And I mean, look at these robes. Like this is this is so edgy in just all the best kinds of ways. But 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 we have a test here. Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's see. Will it squish the pants? All right. I can already see it. I can already see it. All right. Let's let's let let's try some pants. Let's see if the knee pads on the adventurous trousers exist. Nope. Nope. They did it again. They squished them down. I mean, look at this. Look at look at these knee pads. And then every single pair of new boot boots that they release, they squish them down. And I just I hate it so much. But oh. Mm, yeah, mm, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> on, on, on with the video, okay? So there is a new update in Hero Forge, which now allows for people who do not have pro subscription to actually float items, and I'll show you how it's done. Now, first of all, floating items is nothing new in Hero Forge. You've been able to do this for a long time, only it has always required a pro. So the way you did it, you would pick an item like this, let's say the, the dual bladed spear, and you would adjust the grip position all the way out like this. You save up the model, of course, and then from an otherwise completely identical model, you import the pose. And now, as you can see, we imported from a model that looked identical, but that had this thing, right? The big, the big magic spell, right? But it adopts the grip position slider of the spear, which means it's now floating. Now you can do this with hidden arms inside the chest as well, which is like, obviously now it's the main arm, but you can, you can see the point, right? Like I've utilized this a lot of times for a lot of different things. And then of course you can actually twist the magic spell itself. So now we have a, a one armed man with a floating little sword next to him. You know, that's the point. Anyway, that's the old way to do it. However, as, because it requires the import menu, it requires pro, but with the new update that came out just yesterday, there is a way to do this for non pro. Now it is in fact, very, very, very easy to do this in fact it's, it's a lot easier than the, than the than the glitches for the pro people however it's also more limited in some ways so here for to release a tail update right like so now we have all of these tails here in the menu and you can also have separate tails now on the same characters so if we take a tail that can carry an item let's say the griffin tail this is also a new tail it was only accessible on mounts before you go into gear and onto tail and then just like with before, we're going to pick an item that has a grip position slider. So we'll take the very same spear from the example before, the dual blade spear. We are going to pose it all the way upwards or downwards, doesn't matter. And then we're going to go into tail. And this is a bit similar to the snowball glitch in the hand, actually. It's super easy. Now we just pick any item that does not have a grip position slider. So let's go into food. Let's say we want a floating popcorn bucket. Just click it. Boom. Floating popcorn. But yeah, obviously you need to pose the tail into the character and hide it if you want to use it. It's not as versatile because like, I mean this thing, right? Like I can twist this around, but otherwise you don't have as much flexibility with a tail generally as you do with like an arm or a hand. Because obviously in the case of the invisible floating magic thing, I can pose the spell around, I can pose the arm around and the hand, which provides a lot of, a lot of maneuverability. And it's maybe not as easy with a tail, but it's still a floating glitch that's extremely easy to do, very step by step, and you can do it without Pro. So enjoy all your floaty shenanigans. And yes, yes, this is the third video I released in a row where that is that is very, very short and very focused on some like new update or something like that. But don't look, I am all this time, I promise you, I am working on the color guide. It is a huge project. I cannot finish it. Like I cannot do it any faster than I get than I am, but it will be ready soon. Until then, thank you all for watching. I hope you'll enjoy floating things around. See you next time with a, hopefully a proper a proper video then. Also, yes, this again, this Treasure Tuesday, awesome. Well done, Sky Castle. Aside from the boots, you get 10 out of 10, but because of the boots, falls down to like a 7 out of 10. Yep, goodbye.